What is up guys, it's Mr. Ordini, and today I'm going to be talking about the best 10 tile converters with an Alchemy Star. So keep in mind, this is my opinion. If you have another unit that you think is really good that you've seen a lot of success with, let me know down below. But th remember, this is my opinion. It's not super the truth. I don't, or it's, I don't know. It's just my experience with playing Alchemy Star so far. So first up, I'm going to go ahead and cover all of the tile converters really quick. But I'm going to tell you which ones at the end, and I have a notepad pulled up with the ones that I think. So Uriel, I'm not going to put into the top 10. Uriel, if you have full breakthroughs, is top 10. But without any breakthroughs, Uriel is just too RNG. I have certain fights where I use her, and it's like, holy cow, this is great. And then I have other fights I use her, and she does literally nothing to benefit me. So overall, she she is a very good unit, but if you, I'm not going to put her in top 10. If you have breakthroughs, she would be top 10, though. Next up, we have Icy. So Icy, after her buff, having preemptive strike on the four nearest blue or green tiles is absolutely amazing so all of the units pretty much have tile conversion of whatever element they're either strong against or neutral to but they never can convert the tiles that they are weak against unless they have a selection tile and most of the units in alchemy stars are the same they just slightly differ between the elements so i see is the same as grand rusariel uh, those type of units but i see overall is very very strong and the combo the equipment with her is very, very good, and it also has restoring HP, which gives you survivability. But the breakthroughs give you an extra conversion if you don't use the skill, and then extra conversion no matter what. That also counts with that. So if you do have a max breakthrough, I she's, she's absolutely insane, but the reason she is going to be on the top 10 is because you don't need breakthroughs for her to be absolutely incredible for your team tile converters lowering your rng of every fight is amazing so carlene there's a reason everyone told you to reroll for carlene carlene as a water unit the game gives you a lot of free water units that are really good and then carlene just fits in that super well so carlene has it to where she can teleport to anywhere on the map and then gets a full line of blue tiles and then also gains attack per tiles that you move through so overall carlene is not actually on my list but she probably should be. She is very, very good. And the, the reason I didn't put her on the list is because of the four-turn cooldown. But overall, she she should be on there. Honestly, this is a top 15. I'll put her on the list. We'll just say top 15 from here. <laughs> but uh, overall, she's very, very strong. If you do have her breakthrough and have preemptive strike on her ability, absolutely insane. And if you do pull one duplicate copy of her, then you get the reduced skill cooldown by one round. That's amazing. So overall, Carlene is super, super strong. High damage dealer on top of conversion. You just can't go wrong with it. That also gains more attack and she is a multi square hitting unit so if you have a wide boss that takes up multiple tiles it will do a lot of damage next up sariel will be on the list because sariel is another unit i don't care for sariel too too much in comparison to the other converter units because her overall attacks are diagonal which it doesn't feel too good uh, on her chain combo but and the increasing defense Maybe she's good for helping with survivability, but overall in all the content I played, she hasn't felt like she brings as much to the team as the other six star uh, four turn or four tile converters. She does have preemptive, which is nice. She can pair well with Miss Blanc, but Sariel just feels very, very strange, but still really good because she'll lessen the RNG on your team and you just need to make up the overall damage with your other characters. So she will be on there. Granru is definitely top 10. I love my Granru. Uh, converts the nearest four blue and red tiles same same idea and then the magnetic storm it has a chance to paralyze up to two enemies uh which is amazing deals additional damage and paralyzes and has a chance to paralyze a second enemy if you paralyze your enemies then they can't do anything and you basically she adds survivability to your team she adds range damage to your team if you do the combo right and over and she has a multi-tile hitting if you get a high enough combo which it looks like a nine combo you get multi-target which is fantastic or multi-tile so Granru is just going to be on the top 10 easy. Iridin, in my opinion, is the best tile converter in the game. She can convert any two yellow selected tile to yellow prism tiles. And prism tiles, when you walk through them, you get two additional tiles in the direction you're going. So Iridin just creates so much flexibility within your team on a three-turn cooldown. Absolutely amazing. She can create enhanced tiles with breakthroughs. Overall, her breakthroughs seem... Her first one's enhanced tile is pretty decent, but not insane insane. So I don't know. I, I think she's good, but overall, the active being preemptive, you get the max with the enhanced tiles, it adds a little bit. It's not great, but overall, her basic thing is so good, and her equipment increases chain combo damage by 5% and normal attack damage by 3%. That's very good every for every gold march mark. So increasing damage and giving you a ton of flexibility to do whatever you want. So Nikinis, I actually don't have Nikinis, but Nikinis fits that same four tile conversion. It has the exact same ability as Grand Rue, Sariel, Icy. 
But then the equipment difference is going to be at the start of the battle or upon using active skill while the market or creates a mirror mark gains 100% increased defense. So it's really similar to Sariel in the terms of survivability. And then the mark disappears once Nick Kendall loses HP. So it basically super protects you from one hit every single time you use it, which is really nice. I have a feeling in the very late game content, it's going to be absolutely amazing because there's going to be, I'm sure, certain attacks that just do stupid damage that you can't dodge. And being able to proc this will help out a lot. So Nikinus will take a spot on that top 10 list for sure. And then now we have Gabriel. So Gabriel converts one select tile out of blue, red, and yellow to another element. I don't, I don't have Gabriel, so I can't really say too much on her. It retains the tiles and enhanced stats. One enhanced tile will be generated per 10 tiles converted. And then, so I don't really understand Gabriel. She seems pretty good, but overall, it just doesn't seem like a super, super good tile converter. Um, I don't know. I, I can't really, I can't really say. So let me know down below if you're using Gabriel, how much success you've seen with her. But from reading her and not having her, she just seems okay. It changed the active skill to preemptive, so that's on one, uh, which is good. It's a four turn cooldown, which was one thing I didn't like about it, why I'm not putting her in the top 10. But having one duplicate gives her a three turn cooldown, and then having max has an increased chance to generate green tiles when generating new tiles. That's not bad, so you get generated tiles every 10, but it's only one for 10. So doing a 20 combo, you get two? I don't know it seems it doesn't seem too too great but now we're going to go into foss so foss i am going to put in there as well so there are a lot of five stars that have the four nearest yellow tiles so these ones only can do the element that they're neutral to basically so converts the four nearest yellow tiles to red has a chance to generate up to two enhanced tiles which is very very good and keep in mind these are going to be a3 abilities and then getting preemptive on foss is also very good so being able to use this first turn and then if you have a unit like Icy or say you're using even Uriel, then using this into Uriel, then you have a very good chance of creating a very big combo for yourself to do. So overall, these five star converters with the four tiles are all going to be good. And he is a multi target hitting unit as well. So Foss is one of the best fire units in the game right now by far. Now, there are four units that I'm going to go ahead and put them all in the top 10. They are the units that have the five turn cooldown full length tile conversion and a cross so i'm gonna go ahead there's gonna be barton and it's I'm, they're all gonna be on here and they're all going to be on the list they're all five star characters the only thing with them the reason i'm gonna bump them all together and put them in one counting as one character basically is that they uh they're, they're turn cooldowns too long if you do have preemptive strike on them but they are five stars you do have to summon a lot to get all the way to preemptive on the skill but if you have preemptive it's amazing if you do get one count duplicate of any of them it reduces the skill cooldown which is good and overall it's, it's really really good but the weight can suck so some some of the other tile converters i would say are better but sometimes you do have to add one of these units to your team until you can get one of the quicker tile converters that add just more consistency to your team but maggie barton barton's the same thing as maggie very very good but very strange i don't know uh clacken or clacken fits in the same role i actually uh or no sorry clacken fits in the same role as um boss so clacken is very good converts four nearest green tiles to blue which is actually weird because oh well, okay never mind electric's good against water right so never mind it's the neutral tile i was confused for a second it's very weird because i'm thinking pokemon i'm like grass is also good against water but overall clacken clacken's really good um, having the preemptive chain or uh, combo, it's a good replacement for Miss Blanc, I guess. But I personally like Miss Blanc more because she's a four star. You can get her preemptive anyway, but either one works fine. Uh, after using chain combo, inflicts fright. So inflicting fright is really good as well, keeping the enemy from or making the enemy run away. And killing a frightened enemy has a 50% chance to inflict fright on enemies with the four tiles. So Klecken you can use to really chain combo a certain round. This is a good ability to use and say the protect the generator fights if you do end up frighting those enemies then you can keep everything away from attacking the generator once you're frightened you cannot attack so overall it's a good ability i have a feeling it's going to be really useful in certain stages but for right now overall a miss blank does a good enough job that clecken doesn't really matter so nemesis fits in that same role as barton where it's a five turn cooldown it's very very good getting the judgment marks increases defense so nemesis is kind of an electric ability or electric unit that can help you with survivability as well as convert some tiles and do very big damage overall like because you see the skills 450 percent damage which all of these units have pretty big damage within their um skill ability but i'm not going to cover them too much it's the same thing cooldown by one turn and two preemptive so beverly beverly is going to definitely be 
way up there for me. Beverly's amazing. She's one of the four tile converters. She gets, uh, if the skill was not ready last round, it's increased. So it's like Granru and those six stars where you get more tile conversions between everything. So overall, really good. And the, I mean, that's how Klecken is too and all the five stars. So next up, we have Pact. Pact is in the same exact boat as Beverly. And it's just absolutely amazing. She ends up giving... Um, when an enemy marked or marked enemy dies, gains HP equal three percent of enemies' max HP and recovery effects. Up to one tile, when an enemy is located, change to an enhanced tile. So our equipment's very, very good. It gives you survivability in terms of healing, as well as a little bit more tile conversion. And then it's the same breakthroughs as before, with the one extra if you don't use the skill, and then getting the additional tile. So Sakari fits in the same role, but Sakari is my favorite out of all of the uh, the five turn cooldown units in terms of the cross shape. Uh, she's just very, very good because she gets 5% of current HP to that enemy and ignores defense. So if you use her ability at the beginning of the match, especially if you have preemptive strike, and you can just go straight into her skill and get the mark right away. Uh, then you're going to be doing, when it's a terror attacks enemies the first time, she reaches a solo target dealing damage equal to 100% attack and 5% of the current HP. So in late, late bosses, I feel like Sakari is going to hold a very, very high... Uh, role in in the game and making sure that you do a ton of damage first turn to whatever you're fighting and honestly this ability holds up really well until you get to about half health and oh then from there it's a little bad but i have a feeling poison damage is going to be a big combo with sakari as we end up getting into bosses that just have so much hp that you just have no idea how you're going to beat it and that's going to be very fun so genie boom i don't really care for it deals 200 percent damage i wouldn't really so a lot of these are considered converters but they really don't convert because there's a small chance to regenerate red tiles so overall genie boom can be okay but it's just rng with a small chance i don't really like that uh miss black miss black i do really like as a free character four star you can get into her overall generate up to two enhanced tiles and the breakthrough she already has preemptive once you ascend her and then getting into having the enhanced tiles it just adds a lot to your team so miss black as a free unit is absolutely amazing mckinney is another one there's a chance to generate blue tiles i don't want to rate that very high so uh anasia i do not like these abilities at all uh another small chance to generate and then it's just not very good you do a little bit of damage to surrounding clusters but it's just it resets i mean they reset all of the non color of their thing but then having the random it can screw up maybe you weren't gonna go blue that round if you're using mckinney and you're gonna go like there's a big yellow combo and then you screw up the yellow combo then you're stuck going with a small blue which sometimes would be better sometimes would be worse but just the rng you already have tile rng in the game you don't need to add rng on top of rng it just isn't very good so wendy is a feather generating to where you can teleport i don't really care for her too much joel is the same thing uh as the other ones but it's, it's actually jola is resets all tiles and then green tiles having a chance chance of re, uh, generate enhanced tiles so this the problem with this is it resets all tiles so reset the green tiles on the board and have a chance to put them back i don't like joel at all so now these units right here peppy moves any tile so peppy's more of a teleporter um not really too too great and my or peppy's really good but not great as a tile converter but having a teleporting unit actually kind of adds into tile conversion in a zero turn cooldown so you can just teleport every single turn which is pretty cool and it can let you teleport into a position where you can get a combo and also the teleport distance goes up whenever uh with the peppy mark so peppy's pretty good tiny one i don't like at all Trans converts one transferable tile to a red prism tile so wait Pep tiny one seems good this is max i have not seen peppy so a red prism tile actually this gives you three tiles on a two turn cooldown that's not too bad and it can give you preemptive strike to where you can get a, a prism tile right out of the gate that's not bad I actually like that a lot so pep tiny one can actually be pretty decent in terms of a tile converter and a cheap option as well i, I might actually look into tiny one after this video the so unimet uh throws a can any selected tile so this changes yellow to a yellow enhanced tile which is actually really good as well but because it allows you to check anything but overall just one tile it, it can help but there are just better options but if you don't have those better options unimet's okay so echo teleports to any tile within two surrounding clusters similar to peppy and then uh that's it though teleporting that's that's all you get and then the equipment obviously adds but it doesn't really convert anything it's just a teleporting thing so i don't know dove is another teleporter most of the three stars are teleporters on low turn cooldown so if you don't have options these can work fine but last up on the list is ophina so swaps elements straight into tiles and force tiles like this for to enhanced tile 
So it swaps elements, so it allows you to, to mix up and possibly set yourself up for future turns. So Ofina can be pretty cool overall, and she does give poison. So I think Ofina maybe later down the road will end up having a good slot within the game, but not really too, too useful right now if you, if you have the other options. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull up this notepad that has everything on this. So Icy, Gran Rosario, Iridan, Nicodus, Boss, Beverly, Miss Black, Pack, and I have Nadine on here as like an extra and then maggie barton nemesis and sakari these ones go into the top 10 and then nadine's like an extra one nadine is a healer that also tile converts so i would throw nadine on here because having the choose any tile on the entire map to change it to yellow is absolutely amazing so as a healer nadine is one of the better ones in my opinion but since it's not an actual converter i didn't feel right putting it on the list but overall i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you like videos like this i could do one over damage or whatever else you would like to see let me know down below if you're new to the channel if you can subscribe it'd be great we're almost to 10,000 subscribers but it's been mitchell or deity and i will see you all in the next video peace out